The new Skoda Karak debuts with new tech and improved aero for the 2022 model. Skoda Karak is going through a mid-cycle facelift to remain fresh and competitive in a hugely challenging compact crossover segment. The changes start at the front where the high-end versions can be fitted with matrix LED headlights for the first time. The technology came down from the facelift Superb and Kodiak as well as the fourth-generation Octavia. The updated model keeps the four-light arrangement used by Skoda's crossovers, but the daytime running lights in the upper cluster now have a two-level design. The standard full LED tail lights have tweaked graphics to make them look slimmer. The front bumper was modified not just for the sake of design, but also to improve aerodynamics with new air curtains. It's the same story at the back where the bumper incorporates a modified bumper for optimized airflow. Skoda also made some changes on the inside where all trim levels get a digital instrument cluster as standard equipment. The cheaper ones feature an 8-inch display whereas the upper spec models come with a larger 10.25-inch screen. There are four infotainment systems to pick from, with the biggest one measuring 9.2 inches and offering support for over-the-air updates. The cabin has been modified with sustainability in mind by introducing a new eco-pack encompassing vegan seat covers, leather-like materials, and a micro-suede on the armrests in mocha brown. Extended ambient lighting in 10 colors and a footwell illuminated in white are debuting with the facelift Karak, along with a choice between chrome and piano black trims depending on the version. From the style specification and up, the 2022 Karak gets a memory function for the electrically adjustable front passenger seat. As before, the Sportline gets its own look inside and out, bringing it closer to what an RS would look, but without the added punch. Some of the trim levels have new materials on the door cards to spruce things up a bit. Much like with the Kodiak facelift, the Karak won't be offered with a plug-in hybrid powertrain as Skoda has previously said only the Octavia and Superb will continue, with a PHEV setup since their popular fleet models.